I'm Del Shanzi, and I'm back with the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit competent pilots fly or train with. We're on page 16 of the 304 reasons. So we'll just get right back into it. There's a lot of little details. It's just these things you'd never think of until it's actually happened to you. But in aviation, it's not trial and error. It can be trial and death. You don't want to learn these things the hard way, so it's important that you have someone that is thinking ahead on how to make you safer. So, let's see, 183. The vinyl cable housing is screwed, tie-wrapped, clamped, and glued and heat shrinked into the throttle handle for maximum durability. It is so strong, it will hold hundreds of pounds and still won't pull free from this handle. So, I kind of hit on the heat shrink, but I forgot, that's right. We actually tie wrap this in, then it's screwed in, then it's glued in, and it's heat shrinked in, so this sucker does not pull out of your throttle cable. This is incredibly thick heat shrink. It's literally a quarter inch thick, extremely solid, and when it dries, you've got it glued and extremely strong heat shrink. That is another one of those things that have caused numerous serious injuries with people getting shredded in props. If that pulls out and just pops your cable, throttle cable housing out of the little adjuster, bam, your unit just locked full throttle. So it is absolutely critical that this does not slip out of there. That is a major safety issue. And you combine that with units that don't have any protection from the prop, like Fresh Breeze or Fly Products, which another guy just got shredded in. Literally, he just emailed me today about it. It's just, that's totally unacceptable. Or you watch a girl on a Blackhawk, you know, shred her fingers because she tripped and fell down. And it's just stupid stuff that does not need to happen in the sport if people would just get quality gear and deal with competent people. So, one more of those things, okay. NutraSpeak on easy electrical connectors with reliable and robust super slick quick lock system and Nutric unique chuck type strain relief. So the connectors we're using, when you look at how we connect things on flat tops, we are using the highest quality connectors. You look at other paramotors and they're literally just using the cheapest stuff they can get. They put a wire connection together and it's with the cheapest little flimsy connector. Where the flat top, we're trying to make darn sure that you never ever have that failure. Um, another thing that we do, uh, this is a big trick, so we're giving you a tip here. If you take a wire uh, for like the, uh, the ground wire, and you are gonna attach that to a vibrating engine, well, that wire vibrating over hours, hundreds of hours, will break. It's a well-known thing that happens. Those wires vibrate and break. So with the flat top, we connect the wire to a cable, and it's a cable that attaches to the hard point on the, the engine itself. So you're not having a wire bolted onto a vibrating engine where it can just break off. Pretty much every other paramotor is making just foolish little cheap connections like that where you're continually having failures. Where the flat top, we're taking all that extra time and effort to do it right and wire, make a wire go to a cable and the cable goes to the connection so that vibration will never, ever, ever break that connection and cause you to not be able to kill your motor or have an electrical failure. So very, very important little things that all add up. Uh, connectors are countersunk into the size electronics pack for ease of use and maximum durability. Uh, this doesn't have those because this is a pull start unit, but when we do the electric start units, those connectors are the highest quality connectors we can get. So when they lock in, you've got that strength and security so you're not going to have those, you know, failures of loose wires and loose connections. Uh, okay, 
Heat shrink on throttle and stator wires is color coded for easier connection reference, obviously using color coded, so it's very simple to figure where things go. Wiring is all cut to exact lengths for minimal weight and mess and optimal aesthetics. Uh, this is another pretty big one. When we make these throttles, each wire is cut to exactly the correct length. So you don't have a whole bunch of excess wire flopping all over the place where if it came loose, it could go into the propeller. So the wire that goes to your coil and the wire that goes to your ground and the cable, everything is made perfectly to the correct length so it fits correctly. So you don't have all that excess. That's another big issue you'll see on pretty much all the other units with wires going all over the place. And you have a, you know, and they'll have a wire bundle with a little cheap tie wrap and that tie wrap breaks and the wire goes into the muffler and melts or it can go back into the propeller. So again, it's important that everything is designed and made to fit perfectly and properly to give you the lowest possible failure rate for maximum reliability. Uh, all wiring is designed to be water and dirt resistant to maximum reliability in extreme conditions of snow, water, sand, humidity, clouds, icing, and others. I have flown in some crazy conditions and have had all sorts of different issues. Uh, one thing you should learn never to do is to foot drag in salt water. Tip for the day, salt water can be electrically conductive, and if you chuck it into your engine, it can actually cause your engine to die. So if you're gonna do a foot drag on water, make sure it's fresh water, uh, tip for the day. But with the flat top, we cover every single point and try and make every single one of those connections as waterproof as possible. So you're not having the failures and issues and loose connections the flat tops are extremely reliable. It's just, you know, you forget about these things because when you design it, you make sure it's done right. And if you ever have an issue, you update and fix that problem. And then you kind of forget about it. So the guy that owns a flat top, he never even thinks about the wiring or that the wires are cut to the perfect length or how they're connected and how much time and effort it takes to use heat shrink with glue to make sure that connection is secure, never gonna come undone, and it's not gonna allow our water into that connection. So when we fly through, you know, icing or anything, you know, you could fly through humidity and you're getting water on the different connections or kicking water up or you get rained on or snowed on, flying all winter, we're dumping our units in the snow. You're just not seeing those failures with the flat tops that you're gonna have with other units because we spend so much time and pay attention to the details to make those things done right. Okay, starter wires are tie wrapped to the starter in an S pattern for maximum reliability. They tend to vibrate off without specific mounting technique. Uh, this again is for an electric start unit. There's little things you learn over time and one of the wires you don't make to the perfect length is the one on the starter motor. So we would put an S in that wire so it gives it an ability to move so you don't end up with failures in that little point. It's just all these little things you'd never think about that we have spent countless hours to perfect over a lifetime of experience on the flat top. Uh, starter wires heat shrink for optimal durability and not just heat shrink, a lot of them are done with like a glue heat shrink, which is also really waterproof and it just makes a much better connection. Uh, let's see, and connectors, electrical starter attachment mounted as close as possible to the starter for minimal wire length and maximum durability. Again, making the wires and putting them in places where the wires run the shortest distance. So when you look at the wire on a flat top, this wire goes from here to there. It's that long. It's put in the perfect place where literally, I mean, you think of this, you look at another unit and they might have something mounted there and the wire goes clear down to there or a switch down there and the wires are running all over the unit. 
With the flat tops, you have absolutely the least amount of wiring and connections possible, so you have the maximum durability and the longevity, so you're just not having those issues. With other units, you can't trust just one paramotor. I mean, if you own pretty much any other paramotor, you can't just go on a flying trip with one paramotor because the odds are so high that unit is gonna have a failure, you can't trust your trip to one unit. So very commonly, people won't go on a trip unless they take several units. Where with a flat top, you'll see all sorts of videos where I take trips up into the mountains and remote areas because I have that faith and trust in the unit from years of experience and I know how it's put together and the reliability that comes with that. So again, that was page 16 of the 304 reasons the flat top is the only unit to buy and fly.